changing, and that means we've got to bring Mark in, right? Yes, we do, because we like it warm, but as you get closer to Christmas, people want it to be cold. Yeah, you, at just least do. a little chill. Yeah. I mean, you want to have a jacket on. I mean, I was walking through our lobby that has uh, beautiful decorations and a tree. You open up the door, you expect cold air to come in, and it's just very mild. So we are on the way to change, just not necessarily immediately. Here's a gorgeous view, though, of our city here, and we do have clear skies and a lot of traffic there on I-65 on the left side. 57 degrees right now. Winds are calm, dew point at 47. And as we look at the storm track hour by hour forecast, our temperatures will continue to gradually drop down through the lower 50s by about 10 to midnight, and then we're looking at numbers into the 40s by early tomorrow morning. Now, across our area, temperatures have ranged anywhere from 51 in Coleman at the top of the hour to 61 in Birmingham, and that's at the airport. Now 63 in Alabaster, we're looking at temperatures into the upper 50s, mid 50s, anywhere from Marion back into Walker counties. No rain to speak of right now across Alabama or much of the southeast for that matter. We will stay dry, but the winds will eventually start to bring a little more moisture in especially during the morning tomorrow into tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures tonight, well, you're going to eventually see low 40s, upper 30s through our north and west counties, mid 40s for Tuscaloosa, Centerville, back down into Utah. And look at the turnaround temperature-wise. Again, tomorrow we're headed into the upper 60s and low 70s. Now, there will be showers that begin to fall across our western counties. That is west of I-65. And I'll explain more on that coming up in the uh, future cast in just a moment. But temperatures across East Alabama overnight tonight, clear skies, upper 30s from Etowah back into Cherokee counties, upper 60s, low 70s again tomorrow. Still very warm on the east side of town. And you'll see that the uh, cloud cover is going to continue to increase, but the chance of showers will start to build in late tomorrow afternoon west of or actually east of I-65. Overnight tonight could have a little bit of patchy fog develop, but then here comes the cloud cover, the moisture, and man, is it in a hurry. It is headed right towards the Birmingham metro area by about 4 to 5 o'clock, maybe sooner. But for those of you in West Alabama, rain a good bet. I don't see much in the way of any thunder out of this setup, so we will just have a good heavy rain at times, and the rainfall continues right through tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock. South of Birmingham and 20 will be the heaviest rainfall. Thursday midnight, or at least the beginning of Thursday morning, we've still got rain going on. Then the showers begin to taper. Here comes the clearing line. This is at 7 o'clock Thursday. That clearing line slides from northwest to southeast throughout the day, and we'll get back into some sunshine. But this go around, we will have much cooler air to at least greet us for tomorrow, actually Thursday night into Friday. Our temperatures range anywhere from 44 to 42 tonight, mostly clear and chilly. Here's your storm track seven day forecast. There are the numbers. They drop off in short order. Look at that 34, 29 for lows with sunshine, highs back into the low and mid 50s. So if you're looking for that crispness to enjoy a little Christmas shopping like Sherry is buying the whole team some gifts, we will see great <laughs> weather this morning.